God, thank you. For the band, folks, for the band. Oh! Oh, you guys, I'm glad that you guys could be here. This is great. I, uh, yeah! I uh, learned a little bit about myself booking this show. They called and said, uh, we got a show on April 5th. Do you want to do it? And I said, isn't that the Game of Thrones? Uh, and he's like, uh, no, but it is Easter. I'm like, yeah, fuck it, I'll be there. I don't know. Uh, Easter. I, uh, Actually, an excuse to get out of my house is good. I, I am very glad to be uh, anywhere that my wife and children are not. Uh, it has been a long winter. Testify, sister. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. I have got a four-year-old in my house who is driving me fucking crazy. I am really starting to wish I hadn't kidnapped that kid. I, uh, stupid, sir. I didn't kidnap any children. And if I had, I wouldn't tell you guys. That would just be kind of a tactical blunder. And, uh, who, who would kidnap a four-year-old? Have you met a four-year-old? Who would take? Nobody wants that. Seriously, like, you see the van pull up, throw the kid in, drive about 50 feet, stop. Get out! Get out! I don't Seriously, a four-year-old does not shut up, ever. Ever. There's like a... My son got kidnapped, he'd be like, why are you using duct tape? You should use masking tape. You can do sky tape. You tie a knot. I can tie a knot. I don't want to see it. I get the fuck out of the van. You're totally ruining this. It's exhausting. That's all I'm saying. It's exhausting, right? Like, if I got the call that my son had been kidnapped, my very first reaction would be... No, no, get it back, get it back. Just, you know. <laughs> give me a couple hours to see a movie. That'd be nice, like, like a real movie, you know, with like boobs and explosions. Like, no. <laughs> Tap dancing alligators or rapping bees, just, you know. <laughs> Some nipples and fire. I don't think that's so. <laughs> All right, that's very judgy. Okay. Uh, very judgy people. Oh, okay, I'll redeem myself. Uh, in addition to a fucking maniac four-year-old, uh, we are, uh, my wife and I, we're also a foster family. I mean, yeah, don't clap, because I'm about to say some shitty uh, things. But we, have, uh, we have had uh, 15 infants through our house in the last five years. And uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's hard, but we, like, we reuse all the same like blankets and car seats and clothes and stuff. And uh, the other day my neighbor came over, who doesn't know us that well, he's like, uh, I don't mean to pry, but... Uh, <laughs> Is everything okay with your kid? Uh, like, shouldn't he have grown by now? Uh, wasn't he Puerto Rican? Like, uh, is this his final form? Is he a... Is that what you're now what's weird is like, what happens is so basically what happens is like, they, they take a kid away and then they call and say, we've got a child in the care, can you take him? Uh, and my wife has never said no. She's also never called me to ask uh, what I uh, think, so I will just come home and there will be an assortment of babies in my house. And I'm like, they're not Pokemon, honey. Uh, uh, you know, I'm glad we got them, but uh, Squirtle over here is uh, squirting up my stump. So, uh, it's hard. It's very difficult. You've got a child, you know, it's very hard. Yeah, we... Especially hard to, I mean, sex with that many children come to the house is pretty... Like, we're still attracted to each other, but it's, you know, like, logistics. It's very... I try. I try to keep it hot. I'll call her up. I'll be like, oh, baby, I'm gonna fuck your brains out. <laughs> A week from Wednesday. Uh, <laughs> the soccer practice goes long again. Um, and she's a very patient woman, clearly, obviously. I don't think there's anything bad about my wife. She puts up with a lot from me. I'll be like, I'm one of those guys I go through phases. Like, I try something for like six months, and then I move on to the next thing. And she puts up with it. Like, uh, recently, I, get this, I, uh, I went vegan and became a Buddhist and started doing yoga all at once. Yeah, and my wife said, this is a quote. She said, and I quote, this is the faggiest midlife crisis. <laughs> She's like, can you just fuck a waitress like a normal guy? 
I did. I moved here for her. I moved here from Colorado. You guys know where that is? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not trying to be a jerk, but I know how New Englanders feel about geography. It's like Boston, Worcester, L.A. Like, you don't give a shit <laughs> about the building. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. My wife, yeah, as far as she's concerned, everything from Springfield to the Pacific Ocean is the Midwest. Oh. Her family just says I'm from away. Like, I don't even get a plate. Like in the South, they'll give you shit for being from the North. Like here, you guys don't even give me a direction. Just not here. So, screw it. Uh, I like it here. I like it a lot. You are nice. You're weird people. And you don't even know how weird you are, is the thing. Like, yeah, right? Like the phrase, I'm bullshit, to mean I'm angry. People don't say that anywhere else. I never heard that in my life. I moved here. I was helping a guy carry a thing. We dropped. He's like, oh, I'm bullshit. I'm like, hey, you are not bullshit. <laughs> You're a good person. You just made a mistake. They don't call them uh, dungarees anymore, anywhere else. At the old time, yeah, my father in law was like, You wearing dungarees to the thing? I'm like, Are you fucking John Steinbeck? Uh, literary. Uh, <laughs> the new thing I don't understand about New England is your cookies, your Italian cookies. What is, what is the point of those, right? Yeah, I don't. No, I like in Colorado, our cookies taste like cookies or <laughs> marijuana. But uh, I don't understand this licorice. Uh, why do you have a cookie that tastes like NyQuil? I don't know why you would. <laughs> if, you, uh, if you grew up here, you probably don't think it's that weird that Friendly's calls their Sunday the happy ending. <laughs> you know, I come from that means something very different, right? Like, a couple extra bucks to get the happy. Uh, I don't know, we move here, I take my son out for lunch, we get some mac and cheese and a Coke, and the waitress is like, wait a second, sir. <laughs> this comes with a happy ending. <laughs> like, wow, this place really is friendly. Uh, I used to the it, though. I'm actually ashamed of it for just a second before I figured out what was going on. My very first thought was, uh, for him? Or... For me, because like technically it's his lunch, but I'm paid. You know I, mean? like, I try to be a good wig man, I do. I don't want to talk about my four year old. That's not cool. That's not cool. But frankly, he owes me a time or two about the waking up and crying and shit. So, uh, but then I just found out it was a Sunday shape like a clown. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty bullshit. Anyway, I'm uh, Tim Thank you guys. <laughs>